Hey everyone, so welcome to another 4K review. This time, this one's going to be my final one of the week, and it is over Ralph Saves the Internet, which was the sequel to uh, Wreck-It Ralph. And I really, as far as the movie goes, I really liked the movie. I saw it in theaters with my niece, and I was a big fan of the first one, and I really liked the second one. Now, I don't know how well it's going to hold up, considering technology is always changing, um, so a lot of the jokes may not be as funny in a couple of years, but I really liked this one. You know, it, it did remind me a lot of the Emoji movie as far as its storyline, you know, and a lot of little jokes, but I, but I found both of them really entertaining and I liked this one. It was a really good film. Now, as far as the 4K release goes, I was very disappointed because I felt like this was not an upgrade by no means. The image quality was a little soft at times. It wasn't as crisp as you're you're expecting from a 4K, especially a 4K of a, a uh, computer-generated movie, which tends to look really amazing. The colors are fine. They weren't anything over the top. Um, I actually felt like I got a better viewing experience when I was in the theater, and that's saying something because... You know, the theater that we went to was older. It doesn't have as much of the newer technology as far as, you know, image quality and stuff like that. So that that is saying a lot. Like I said, this was kind of soft in scenes. The color was not as really vibrant as what you would expect. Uh, the, the HDR was used a couple times. And, I mean, yeah, it's HDR, but it wasn't enough to really wow me. Now, again, with Disney, another big, I guess, loser in this is that the audio quality was simply not good. It, you know, Disney has got to get a hold on this, this audio quality situation because none of their releases so far have really been that great. And this is another one you're just going to turn it up as loud as you can go to get an average, you know, listening experience. It just, I don't know, they've really got to do something about that. Uh, I watched the the Blu-ray for a few minutes after I watched the 4K, and I really didn't notice a huge difference. Uh, as far as this one goes, I'm just going to say save your money and get the Blu-ray because I don't feel like the 4K was just that big of an upgrade. Now, unless you just you happen to have you know the first one on 4K and you just want to have a complete set that way, but I don't know. I would like I said I would just wait, save your money, and get the Blu-ray because I don't feel like it was a big improvement. So on this one, I'm going to give it kind of a thumbs down, just all in all. Now, the movie's great, and I, I love the movie, and I think everyone else will probably enjoy it. But the quality of this one is just really, it was really a letdown after what I thought this would look really, really good on home video, and it just, it really didn't. So anyways, guys, that's kind of my review. Not a great one on this one, but, you know, sometimes that happens. Uh... Anyways, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you thought about it, if you disagreed, if you agreed, um, or if you just want to say hey. So anyways, have a good one, guys.